Hi Cancer, Jackie Tomlin here. This is your general reading. This is for the week of September 25th, 2023. Thank you guys for joining me. Cancer, please remember these are general videos, uh, general readings. So take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. Um, if you're seeking a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. You will find a menu of options over there. Okay, so the first thing that jumps out is just got to be... Totally honest is your anger and your temper. Someone has pulled that string in your back and you're madder than fire about it. And I don't blame you. Okay. There is the signing of a legal contract here that brings in a sigh of relief. This just this lesson well learned. Okay. Uh, it is about getting what you want and major changes. Major changes are coming up. You are kind of forcing the hand at these major changes, and it's wonderful. Uh, you know that cliche of change is good? That's what I'm seeing here. Hey, Juliet. And there's new money coming into play. You're ready to go out and celebrate. Uh, this is a group, a gathering of some sorts, of going out to celebrate. New, powerful new beginning. Um being true to you you're getting things under control you've had enough you've you've hey harry you've reached the the break, breaking point you've had enough and yeah so there's nothing wrong with that nothing at all all right let's get into this energy and like i said it does it starts off with your anger okay and the first thing we see is the nine of swords the ten of swords and the two of swords. Okay. The best way I can describe this, I'm not sure what you've been through, because like I said, this is a general reading, but you're kind of looked in the mirror, dusted yourself off, and you get your bitch back. Does that make sense? Okay. So the nine of swords says there's a loss of sleep. And this is honestly, this is a loss of sleep for too long. This is about getting things under control. It's about putting your foot down. The Ten of Swords says someone has done you wrong and you're now ready to heal from it. This is probably what you're mad about. But you're ready to heal. You're ready to move forward. Two of Swords says you need to make decisions. You need to make decisions you've been putting off for too long. And for some of you, part of these decisions is pulling off a blindfold, seeing things in a different light. Okay. And we have the Ten of Cups, center of your reading, the lovers. And we have judgment, delay in the judgment. Ten of Cups, a relationship, the intensity and in love is here. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, you could be leveling up and you, or some of you are moving into something new. Okay, but people are passing judgment on you and you're passing judgment on other people. It has to do with your love life. It has to do with your love life. Okay. There's an empress here. Mother card, positive changes on the home front, perhaps news of a pregnancy. Queen of Cups asking you to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love. Could be dealing with a Scorpio and someone that you're not currently speaking to or someone you have not heard from is about to contact you. Something to do with the beach. Travel plans to the beach. Past travel plans to the beach. Meditation. Zoom, trying to find your Zen moment. You're, you're trying to find some peace and quiet. This is being true to you. You're trying to find your Zen and everybody's interrupting it. All you're wanting is to be happy and everyone wants to pull you in a different direction. Put your foot down. Demand it. All right, let's get further with these messages for my cancer. We're going to start up top with what is causing this loss of sleep up here. What is causing the loss of sleep over and over again? You're moving from troubled waters to the calm. And I think you really need to know that you are headed in the right direction. Hello, Miss Sherry. How have you been? Been a while. And then we have this Ten of Swords energy of healing. Healing from this person that's done you wrong. Let's see what we have to do with that. 
finding your zen, being true to you. This is what I'm talking about. Doing you. Okay. The two of swords are taking the blinders off and making some decisions. Because you are the queen of swords. You are the queen of swords. This is you. Uh, sharp tongue demanding the truth. You may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And you're demanding the truth. You're tired, tired of being lied to. You're tired of being jerked around. This is where I'm talking about you're being true to you. On the Ten of Cups comes the Three of Pentacles. There's financial concern here. Let that energy go. You're building an enterprise. You're just beginning. Okay? You're just beginning with this. So any financial concerns, you're going to figure it out. You always do is the message. You always do. Okay. The lover's card came with people passing judgment. And again, people are passing judgment. You're passing judgment. Look at there. Think I'm buying what's disrupting your balance. There's a heart in that scale. Something is amiss there. Something is amiss. On your first judgment card. You're walking away. You're walking away from someone or something that no longer serves a purpose to you. Perhaps you're being judged because you're walking away from it. This is a reading about being true to you. This is a reading about powerful, strong, new beginning. And you have no idea how strong you are. Okay. And then we have the Empress card comes with. There's that celebration I talked about. Three and or more people getting together, celebrating. And I think that just might be a celebration about you and your new beginning. Okay. That Queen of Cups being true to yourself. Third party situation. Perhaps somebody put you in a third party situation. Three people. I want advice, opinion. You know, three's crowd. That ace of swords, the person you're not talking to. It's going to come in. It's going to bring you total happiness, total contentment. Love arrows flying around. Man, Cancer, you are breaking free for a powerful new beginning all about you. This is incredible. There you are, the high priestess. Grounded, centered, intuitive. You know what's right from wrong. You're doing you. With that, there's strength. Strength to get you through no matter what you decide. Look at the infinity symbol over her head. That strength is bringing in what? It's bringing in your balance. King of Pentacles. There's a man here with a plan. Man with money. I'm going to say this is an older gentleman. Someone is coming in to save the day or there to assist you. Temperance, Sagittarius, energy. Why are things shifted? Because you're doing things differently. You know, when you do the same thing, you get the same result. Well, now you're taking steps to do something differently. Taking you somewhere better. Okay, so. Cancer, let's see what Kipper has for you. There again, we're looking at your week of September 25th. Deep pockets, that's right. Des deserving of someone with the deep pockets. Right now, you've been dealing with a liar. You're dealing with a false person. This person's been lying for you for a long time. No wonder you're pissed off. I don't blame you. Okay, and then we have... Oh, unexpected company. Expect the unexpected company. Get the living room clean. Just saying. Message of concern. I think somebody's going to try to write you a love letter. Do with that as you may. You also have a secret admirer. Somebody's watching you make this transition. Someone's watching you do your glow up. You have a secret admirer. And you have jealousy. 
someone watching you that is very jealous of you being independent and making your glow up while someone else is watching you as a secret admirer. I know Juliet cringes every time I say unexpected company. Just clean the living room. They're coming. Information pertaining to a child. I go back to some of y'all are going to get the information over pregnancy. You feel like someone has stole something from you. Your thoughts, your ideas, your opinions, your money. I want to say your dignity, your pride. Someone has stole something from you. Someone has done you way wrong here. Okay? You're dealing with an older gentleman. This older gentleman is going to be key. I see the letter L and I see the letter K. This is a professional. This gentleman could be retired. This gentleman might have deep pockets, as Dana says. Okay. Could be a gentleman that is retired military. Um, I'm particularly seeing Air Force. And we, uh, it's a wealthy man. Yep. It is somebody with deep pockets. Who knew? The wealthy man. Gotta love it. I'm going back to somebody's getting ready to write a love letter. And I think this is like a last ditch effort to save you or play on your sympathy or. Two scenarios. I'm seeing two different scenarios because, you know, it's, it's a general reading. If this is the person you're walking away from, this is a bunch of BS in writing. False promises, false, false things. Okay. Trying to win your sympathy over. But if it's from a secret admirer, well, hello, you need to pay attention to what it says. Okay. Some travel and not too far off distant future. Some of you going about to do a cruise with this gentleman, I might add. Um, a message of concern you will need to take care of. New house. There's a new house. Some of you wanting a new house. Maybe where your space is in is stagnant, is tainted, but you're wanting a new house. And you know what? This is one of those things. If you want a new house, you'll have a new house. And there's your great fortune, which is your abundance. You guys are on the right path. There's something here, like I said, that definitely shows me that you're going through some kind of something that has provoked your temper. You're not upset. You're mad. You're mad. But like I said, sometimes you've got to be mad in order to get things done, in order to move forward. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here with my cancers, that it, that temper has provoked this new beginning and has provoked a strength within you that probably you didn't even know you had. So that's what I've got going on with my cancers. I'm logging off, coming right back. Leo, Leo, you are up next. So see you in just a moment. 